Using the ringing feature of Stream Video iOS SDK, we can notify call participants about a call. In this video, we will look at how that works and use it to report an outgoing call screen with sound notification. The video SDK handles outgoing, incoming and other call related notifications with a call object. To use the call object to report an outgoing call or an incoming call, first we need to create the call using the create method and pass the parameter ring and set its value to true. If the value of the ring parameter is false, no push notification will be sent during an incoming or outgoing call. Using the call object, you can also notify call participants about a call without ringing. For example, in a meeting app like Zoom, when people join a meeting, you may want to inform others without using a ringtone. In this situation, we first need to create the call using the create method and pass the parameter notify and set its value to true. This is an overview of ringing and notifying call participants about a call. For more details, please check our documentation. Let's apply what we just learned to notify ourselves about an outgoing call with sound notification. In this Tata Xcode project, we have the video SDK installed and set up for a functional video calling app. If you are new to Stream Video iOS, you can check out our Getting Started Video Calling tutorial. Here we initialize the Stream Video client. Then we check to see if the call is created and use the call container to render the video call. Then we use the view model to join the call. When we run the app and join the call using the companion web app, the active call screen launches immediately without any sound notification. Let's request an outgoing call screen with a default ringtone. Over here, we use the join call method of the view model to join the call. To request an outgoing call, we need to use the start call method instead. So let's put a comment here and put view model dot start call. Let's pick the one with parameters, call type, call ID, members and ring. So the call type will be default. Then we have call ID. For the members, we will use an empty array. Then we set the ring parameter to true. From the toolbar, you can see my iPhone is selected as the device. When we run the app again, you will see this outgoing call screen from the SDK with a default ringtone. We showed the outgoing call screen with the SDK's call container using a default view factory. I have also implemented a custom outgoing call screen using a custom view factory. So let's put a comment here and on comment the custom view factory. When we go to the advanced customization folder, here we have the custom view factory that is used to personalize the video calling experience. Let's add a custom ringtone to override the default ringtone that presented during the outgoing call. To do this, I'll go to my desktop and drag a sound file to the project bundle. I'll just release it anywhere here and make sure these three options are checked and click finish. To change the default ringtone, we will use the SDK's appearance class. For more information about this class, please check our documentation. You have noticed I have created an instance of the SDK's sounds class. Next, we need to tell the SDK to pick the sound from our project bundle, the one we added here, instead of the default sound. So we can say custom sound dot bundle equals bundle dot main. That is going to pick the sound we just added here. Next, we have to specify the sound we want to swap. So we can assign the custom sound instance to ringin.mp3. So this is all we need to do to implement a custom ringtone. Running the app again, we have a custom outgoing call screen and a custom ringtone. This is how the ringing feature of Stream Video iOS works. For more details, please check our documentation and thanks for watching this video.